Hey, welcome to Akelo Dayan TV. Welcome, welcome. Mm -hmm. So today we are going to talk about what, honey? We are going to talk about how to rightly correct your spouse. Ooh, rightly correct, which means you could be doing it wrong. Huh? That's right. <laughs> uh -huh. So how do, you do it? how do we do that? Well, number one, your tone. Mm. Your tone Ooh. should be low, should be loving. It should not be shouty. Yeah. Yeah, it should not be accusatory. You Ex know. Exactly. Kind of exactly. And don't be correcting your spouse as if you're the spouse's boss. You. <laughs> hey, come on, chill. Chill no, out. Don't do this that. is not a war. It's not a war. <laughs> <laughs> and then number two, appreciate your spouse more than you correct him or her. Don't let it be that most of the times or more, every time that words come out of your lips is what your spouse is doing wrong. You're just listing the negatives. Come on. Yeah. Give your spouse some appreciation, right? Hey, give, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, everybody, everybody needs that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> if exactly. you feel like you're constantly being attacked and you're constantly doing wrong things, well, well. Wow, it puts you off. It, it puts does. you off. So it please, eh? appreciate your spouse more than you correct him or her. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. The next point Ooh. is timing. Timing. Timing, man. Ooh, oh, timing oh. is crucial. <laughs> you don't want to start no drama when somebody has just walked in from work. Yeah, or somebody <laughs> in the middle of making love. Right? So the guy's like, mm -hmm. or the woman is like in the mood, <laughs> and then that's the time. How come you didn't take out the trash? Come on, oh man. God, <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, man. Lord. Wrong timing. Wrong timing. Uh, wrong timing. Yes. Your timing has to be right. Make yes. sure, you know, your spouse is calm. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's you know, they're not tired. Yeah. Or they haven't gone through some tough emotional stuff for exactly. day and then you're over there trying trying to bring in like really heavy heavy yeah, <laughs> heavy yeah. stuff you're setting yourself up for some really disappointment eh? you are and then number four number four mm -hmm. no comparisons don't compare your spouse to another person if you're a wife don't be telling your husband mm, why can't you be like you know uh mr so-and-so of our neighbor <laughs> eh? he does this for the wife when are you gonna do this for me or if you're a husband you're like why can't you be like eh? these women that i see on social media who are loving no, 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 no. do not compare your spouse to another focus on your spouse and your spouse alone yes yes mm -hmm. the next point is environment yes mm -hmm. make sure the environment is conducive for productive you know discussion yes just um make sure it's not in front of friends yeah. <laughs> in front of relatives oh. your, you know yeah i don't know your colleagues at work you mm -hmm. know you're just causing drama for no reason yeah or yeah. even in front of the kids yes. uh, 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 don't yes. correct your spouse cover your spouse you know yeah. when you when the kids are around so that now when you it's just the two of you can be like you know what honey uh, this and this and this. I don't like what it is that you said over there mm -hmm. and things like that. You know, yeah. just check on that. And then number six. Number six. Do not use the words never or always. You never do anything right. You mm. always mess things up. No ah, absolutes. Mm, no, no absolutes. absolutes. No. Because that's false. <laughs> If you mm -hmm. had a spouse who never did anything right or who mm. always did uh, wrong things, you two yeah. will not be together in you the first wouldn't. place. So there's some good things you're seeing in your spouse. Eh? Yes. And when you use the words never and always, guess what? You are cancelling all the wonderful things that they've done before. So be specific. In this day, on Friday, you did this. Uh -uh, yes, I didn't yes. like that. So be specific. Yes, no, absolutely. You mm. know, they say even a broken clock is right once. Ah, well, <laughs> so your spouse sure, cannot be wrong sure. all the time. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And then lastly, number seven, honey. Lastly, number seven, we need to tell them. Huh? Should we tell them? Yeah, let's oh, tell them. Number Go ahead. seven. <laughs> number seven, and this is a very important one. As you seek to correct your spouse, also you be open to correction. Yes. Allow yes, your spouse, yes. give your spouse power and authority to correct you. Mm -hmm. Don't be you know one sided that you're the one who's supposed to be always correcting your spouse please mm -hmm. allow your spouse also to correct you so when your spouse is calling you out on something or bringing to your attention that something is not going right please listen don't harden yourself don't harden your heart yes mm -hmm. awesome yeah wonderful yeah remember this <laughs> love is about learning and unlearning no, that's it no matter who you are no matter your experience there's mm -hmm. always room to grow Blessed are you when you have a spouse who wants the best for you. 
Indeed, indeed. <laughs> Love you, honey. Love you too. And on that note, thank you for correcting me when I go wrong. Thank you for correcting me when I go wrong. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Akello Day and TV. And we wish you the best of love. The best of love. Thank you. Thank you.